this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns coming at you no gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. So I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate all the information. I appreciate y'all for coming to the video. Appreciate all the support and love. Appreciate everything that y'all doing for the 2A community. Appreciate all the comments. I'm talking about whether you agree or disagree. I appreciate you anyway. We're taking the energy. We're building off of it. And with that said, you know, a lot of you been sticking with me through the good and the bad and the ups and downs. Now, you know, like I always said before, nothing moves in a straight line. When it comes to your Second Amendment, people, we're going to win some, we're going to lose some. But the mindset we have over here is long term. We don't have that short term mindset. We don't have we don't we don't jump for the little shiny objects and everything. We don't do that. And right now in the election, you have the opposition. They're they're putting these little shiny objects for people to, to cling on and hang on and stuff. And on the flip side of that, their agenda is to come after our Second Amendment, to destroy the Second Amendment. So right now in the headline, the, the, the headlines are basically a point to with firearms at the polls. Uh, to my, you see, you see, you see how they're 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 making it. See, as we get closer to the election, when it comes to farms, it's gonna get even more intense, people. When it comes to your Second Amendment, it's gonna get even more intense. So you have the media, the opposition is shaping up right now. They're shaping everything up. So you know they're getting very desperate to come out with their true agenda, and that is your firearms in this country. So right now you have states, governors, and stuff who are trying to ban farms and stuff. Now I've been hearing a lot of topics. I got comments and stuff on you know the situation that's going on when it comes to protecting yourself and everything especially during this election season there's a lot of uh, things that is you know pretty much causing a lot of you know people are being worried about election the election right now because you know there are some people who are saying that you know after the election uh, no matter who wins there could be some civil unrest um, there and in the headlines and the media and stuff they're saying you know they're really pushing this voter intimidation and stuff like that so in my area, I had looked at, um, you know, went around different polling places and, you know, I'm seeing people open carrying and stuff like that. You have some concealed carriers, but, you know, you can't see it because they conceal. Now, when it comes to uh, open carrying, I mean, carrying farms at the polling places, it varies from states, people. You have few states that have no laws whatsoever when it comes to carrying farms in the polls. Now, um, in my state, we don't have no firearm, law, firearm laws when it comes to carrying at polls and stuff like that. But one thing that a lot of people need to understand that, you know, it depends on where your polling place is at. Now, if you have a polling place that is at a church or at a school and stuff like that, uh, to my, your local law is going to kick in for that. Uh, to my, you know, you can't carry firearms inside school and, you know, school buildings and stuff like that. Um, you have some laws where, you know, you can't carry farms and churches and stuff. Uh, to my, it depends on where you're at. So you have to look at that. But with that said, places that allow you to carry farms, you have the governors and the politicians are stepping up trying to ban it because, you know, they're using this strategy of voter intimidation and stuff. Or to my, you know, on the flip side, you have voters that's going to be at risk, that's going to be targeted um, at the polls and stuff. So, you know, there's a huge safety risk at the poll, but the opposition is trying to make it seem like you have law abiding citizen. The key word law abiding citizen. We're not going there to start no confrontation, to start no trouble, none of that. We just want to protect ourselves. And as many instances in this country, we've seen that, you know, these places who are banning you from carrying farms and stuff like that put you at risk. A lot of people think they're safe, but you're not safe. The stickers on the, on the window and the signs and stuff don't make you safe, people. To my, I, we have talked about that for a long time. This stuff, that stuff don't make you safe. Criminals are going to break those laws. Criminals don't abide by the laws and stuff. So, you know, with that said, a lot of uh, the media outlets are trying to focus on the president comments, Trump comments and everything. Now, he's saying poll watches and stuff like that. We're going to watch the polls and stuff because people you have these people who are at the polling booth who are who are running the polls, who are doing stuff behind the scenes that a lot of voters don't know about. Uh, to my, we have been in past elections. We have found, um, you know, uh, voters. Uh, we, we, we have found ballots inside of people, trunk of the cars. These were the people running the machines, running the stuff at the polls and stuff. We have found that right now, the mail-in ballots, we're finding them stashed all over the place and stuff. Many articles about that. We can go on and on. There's a lot of stuff going on. So I'm talking about, you know, when the opposition is focused on the firearms and everything on the flip side, they're doing everything they can to cheat during this election. 
And they're not going to talk about it, people. They're not going to talk about it. Um, I talked about you have Bloomberg. You, you see what he's doing. He's buying politicians. He's buying. He's trying to pay for the votes. He's trying to buy this election. It's a lot of stuff going on, people. It's not just worrying about guns at the polls and stuff. I'm to my, you know, they're stepping up a lot of security at the polls and stuff. So several polls I went to, people carrying farms. I'm to my, no, every, people's talking. I'm to my, just friendly atmosphere. Nobody's going crazy, doing all this kind of stuff that they're saying. I'm to my, you know, so this is some of the stuff that you're going to deal with during the election. But, you know, when it comes to firearms at the polls and stuff like that, uh, pay attention to your state laws and stuff like that because, you know, you can carry, but it depends on if it's at a school or a church or, or, or a place where, you know, um, there are, you know, like government places where they're, they're banning farms and stuff like that. So that's some of the things that you got to have to look at. But there are states who are against your Second Amendment who are trying to put these things in to suppress your vote. They're trying to keep you from going out of voting. I'm talking about, you know, on the flip side, they're saying, hey, you know, you're you're intimidating voters and stuff like that, but they're trying to suppress, you know, law abiding the gun owners vote. They're trying to suppress the people who support the Second Amendment. They're doing that. So this is the kind of strategies and flip flopping and stuff that the media and all this stuff and headlines that you're seeing out there. And they're trying to just narrow it down to firearms, people. Why? It's because that is their agenda. I'm talking about they bypass all this other stuff that's going on and go straight for the firearms, for the guns. That's that's, that's exactly what they're doing. And like I said before, with some of the stuff that rhetoric and stuff that we're in, we're in, you have the opposition, the Democrats who want to pack the courts. I'm talking about, you know, right now, I'm talking about, you know, with Trump, them picking the, um, picking, um, um, I can't think of the lady name, I just forgot it, but, you know, y'all know who I'm talking about. But with Trump picking another Supreme Court um, nominee and everything, who a lot of these um, anti-gun groups and stuff and organization politicians and stuff, they're very worried. They're very, very worried that, you know, um, you know, when it comes to the Second Amendment, a lot of the laws that people, we've been waiting for answers to, or to my waiting for to clear the atmosphere when it comes to this country, they're scared it's going to happen. Because like I said before, when it comes to the Supreme Court, a lot of stuff has been passed down, just been kicked down the road, kicked the can down the road when it comes to the Second Amendment. Or they dismissing cases and stuff like that. They don't want to pretty much, you know, rule on them and everything. And so that's what the opposition is scared of right now. So their strategy is, oh, we're going to pack the courts and stuff like that. So I'm telling you, people, these these people have a whole bags of tricks. It's Halloween right now. But the opposition is trick or treating. I'm talking about they got a lot of tricks in their bags and everything to hand out to law abiding citizens in this country. So with that said, people, um, you know, get out and vote. I'm talking about, you know, we have to go, we have to go vote, people. We got to go strong. Um, you know, we can't depend on um, you know, your your gun organization. We can't depend on the money. We can't depend on your politicians. We can't depend on the president and stuff. We have to depend on us, the law-abiding citizens, the gun owners. We have to get out and cast our ballots and stuff to preserve the Second Amendment. That is the goal over here. Everything else, people, I'm to my, that's for a whole nother place and another time. But right now, the Second Amendment is at risk. If the opposition win, we were gonna we're gonna be in a fight for decades and decades, and we're gonna lose a whole lot more gun laws. So I'm talking about to keep from trying to play catch up with some of the laws we're trying to overturn. Um, we need to gain momentum and build on it. We don't need to be losing and, and come back and have to fight this and fight that because that has been the drag on the two-way community. I've been saying for a long time. There are laws that we that has passed um, that you know we're trying to overturn and laws we're trying to stop. And that's going to take even more energy in the two-way community. So like I said before, this is these Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.